Oh yeah, here we go. It's Christmas time, baby. Yes, boys and girls, it's once again that time of the year where individuals all over the world have a mild panic attack because they're just not sure what to buy for the special someones in their life. Naturally, you could play it safe with a nice box of chocolates or a Lynx Africa gift set. But why would you do that when you could spend hundreds, if not thousands, of dollary dues on something completely ostentatious? For this list, we're looking at the gaming paraphernalia that should probably only be bought by those rare few who have more money than sense. It's worth noting that not all of these items are currently for sale, so if you spot something on this list that you're just bonkers enough to consider buying, then we can't guarantee you'll be able to get your hands on it. I'm the moderately expensive Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are 10 ridiculously over-the-top gifts for the gamer in your life. Number 10, Wow Cube. The Rubik's Cube has been a mainstay of many a Christmas stocking ever since it first hit the shelves of toy stores in the late 70s. From obscenely difficult 12-sided versions to the monstrosity that was the 17 by 17 cube. The Wow Cube takes the concept of the 2x2 Rubik's Cube and replaces each of the multicolored squares with a tiny screen. This means that rather than just matching all of the same colours together, players will be able to download different games so that they can solve puzzles like never before. Not only can players twist the WoW Cube, but they can also tap it, shake it, tilt it, and bop it. Okay, fine, the last one isn't technically true, but all of the others are. Though the premise sounds very cool, and it's certainly a new take on a classic, it's worth bearing in mind that the WoW Cube is really just the Rubik's Cube with extra steps. The gadget hasn't been released yet, but the company that makes it estimates it will retail for around $250, which just happens to be 25 times the price of a regular Rubik's Cube. With that in mind, it might be worth foregoing the screens and using that $240 you save to treat yourself to something else. Number 9. The Sephiroth Wallet Assuming the intended recipient is fond of such things, a wallet doesn't necessarily make for a bad gift. And if you're planning on going down the designer route, then a fancy one could run you hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. If you're looking to spoil the Final Fantasy fan in your life, however, you could always shell out $370 for the official Sephiroth wallet. This stylish black leather number features not only all of the trappings you'd expect to find from a regular wallet, including card holders, space for both notes and coins, and a shiny zip to keep it all from falling out, but it also comes emblazoned with Sephiroth shoulder armour and wing symbol. Bet you really want one now, don't you? Okay, who are we kidding? It's just a leather wallet that's had the price hiked all the way up because it's got Final Fantasy branding on it. Granted, being made from actual cow it's probably fairly resilient, but aside from that it doesn't even do anything flashy and at a distance you can't even tell it's got anything to do with the Masamune wielding toe rag. Still, we won't judge you if you do feel the need to go out and buy one for yourself. After all, it's not like we're that physically responsible ourselves, huh? Number 8. Mareep Pokey Plushie Christmas can be an awfully lonely time, and if you don't have a special someone in life, those long, cold nights may seem even longer and colder. There's no need to be alone, as you can purchase yourself your very own 4 foot long Mareep Plushie. Admittedly, that same $500 will probably buy you several months premium subscription to a dating website, but at least you know that the plushie wouldn't ghost you after you had what you thought was a very lovely date. Anyway, I digress. Modelled after the second generation Pokemon, the Mareep Pokey Plushie stands at an impressive 24 inches high, 23 inches wide and 45 inches long. The website boasts that owners of this humongous ovine friend will have tons of options when it comes to displaying it. You know, assuming you have 16 square foot of space available in your home. Regardless of where you end up keeping it, however, this ginormous sheep is sure to make an interesting addition to any home. Sadly, Mareep is, at time of writing, sold out. But fear not, plushy lovers, you can still get your hands on a 3-foot Pikachu, if you're so inclined, happen to have $400 lying around, and have nothing better to spend it on. Number 7. Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield Statues you sometimes find that sequels aren't as good as the original, but fortunately for the Resident Evil series, this wasn't the case, as the follow-up to the 1996 survival horror smash hit was very well received. Naturally, when it was remade in 2019, people were hugely excited to get back to the RPD precinct with Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield. 
If you happen to have someone in your life as a big Resident Evil fan, and you like them enough to spend $1,350 on them, then you might feel like treating them to a statue of your favourite protagonist. Do notice how I said protagonist singular, because if you can't decide between the two, you're going to have to shell out twice as much. The statues themselves are impressive, each depicting the duo in all their zombie eviscerating glory. They both stand at around 55cm tall, feature a base inspired by the RPD station, and are handmade. There's no denying that these statues are incredibly cool, and there has undoubtedly been an awful lot of work put in by the manufacturer to make them look as good as they do. Sadly though, I left my spare $2,700 in my Sephiroth wallet. Number 6. The KF Console we're not going to lie, if it weren't for the projected $2,000 price tag, we'd almost certainly be getting one of these for the office. After all, what could be better than playing your favourite video game, then remembering that as soon as you feel like taking a break, you've got delicious fried chicken just waiting to be devoured. With a design inspired by the iconic KFC bucket, the KF console boasts a whole bunch of different features, including 4K resolution, 120fps and a 240Hz output, as well as cross-platform functionality. Oh, and it also contains a proprietary chicken chamber that allows users to store and warm fried chicken or any other slack that they need to stay hot, I suppose. When the trailer dropped in June 2020, everyone thought the whole thing was an out-of-season April Fool's joke. However, it has since transpired that the KF console is actually in development, though when exactly the console will launch is, at time of writing, undisclosed. Estimates vary in terms of how much the console is likely to cost, but based on all the features it's alleged to have, plus some additional levy for the USP, it's likely to come in somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000. As cool as the concept is though, we can't help but feel like it's more financially responsible to just buy a PS5 than spend the change on getting Uber Eats. Number 5. Yesterday's Vision Retro Gaming Screen for many of us, the memories of being sat right up close to an old TV playing on our first console fills us with loads of warm, fuzzy, nostalgic feelings. Regardless of whether you're an Atari, Sega, Nintendo or PlayStation kid, those early 90s Saturday mornings will stick with you forever. I assume. I was born in 1998. But what if I told you, you could recreate those feelings for the low, low price of £2,500? Yes indeed, for just the cost of a decent deposit on a nice car, you could have your very own retro TV style screen. Not only does the Yesterday Vision retro gaming screen boast a whopping 19 inch monitor, but it can also emulate classic gaming systems such as an SNES, NES, Genesis, Atari 2600, N64 and PlayStation through the clever use of a built-in Raspberry Pi. It also has its very own HDMI input, so not just limited to retro gaming as the Yesterday Vision can handle a whole smorgasbord of modern devices. It's probably worth bearing in mind, however, that a Raspberry Pi and regular 19 inch monitor can be purchased for a fraction of the price, and whilst the retro gaming screen screen does look very cool in a kitschy kind of way, you really are paying through the nose for a gaming experience you could probably recreate yourself for a couple of hundred quid. Number 4. The NES Controller Coffee Table We're going from one retro gaming bank account killer to another as we take a look at an item that's not only ridiculous in terms of how much it costs, but also insane when it comes to its functionality. Though it seems that the NES controller coffee table is no longer available for purchase, at one point you could treat yourself or a Nintendo loving friend or family member for just a low, low price of $3,500. Now that may sound like a lot of money, and that's because it is. What do you mean I'm supposed to justify it? It's three grand for a coffee table. I could go to Ikea, get myself a lat, and glue an NES controller to it, and it would do the same thing. Okay, fine, fine, but I'm not happy about it. Whilst you could probably engineer something similar for yourself for a fraction of the price, it's hard to deny that the NES controller coffee table is beautifully crafted. Constructed from maple, mahogany, and wood, Walnut, furniture maker Charles Lashier built a handful of these tables back in 2012, so sadly you're unlikely to get your hands on the original. There have been a number of imitations however, so if you've got the cash you might be able to snap one up for yourself. Wouldn't that be nice? Number 3. The Acer Predator Thronos Gaming Cockpit if you're all about being fully immersed in a video game, but your current setup just isn't working for you, then why not save up your pennies for the Acer Predator Thronos Gaming Cockpit? 
Man, they sure missed a trick not calling it the Game of Thronos. This slightly imposing rig stands at over 5 feet tall and weighs more than 485 pounds, but it does promise a completely immersive gaming experience. Not only does it include a full PC gaming setup with not one, not two, but three monitors and a keyboard, mouse and headset, but the whole thing closes in around you like some sort of slightly disconcerting gaming cocoon, complete with a scorpion tail onto which the screens are mounted. Once you're in it, the chair can recline to an angle of your choice, you can put your feet up on a built-in footrest, and it even has cup holders. Because let's face it, who wouldn't want to spill your squash on it? If you're interested in buying one, then it's going to set you back a minimum of $30,000, and that's purely for the base model. If you start making changes to the setup, the number is only going to go up. Still, think of the cup holders. Number two, the world's largest arcade machine. Some people say that bigger is better, though we here at Triple Jump know very well that good things come in small packages. I'm obviously talking about Tiny Peter. Why? What were you guys thinking of? Still, there are those out there who like things big, and what better gift for one of these people than the world's largest arcade machine? This absolute behemoth stands at over 14 feet tall and even has a giant coin slot into which a huge novelty quarter can be fed, though there's no actual charge to play any of the 250 games. The machine boasts an 80 inch screen, a 16 inch trackball, 8 buttons and 2 joysticks, and players can enjoy the likes of Pac-Man, Rampage and Robotron. The cabinet was built by Chicago resident Jason Camberis, who decided to construct it as he was sick of seeing bad things on the news and wanted to inject a little joy into the world. Ah, isn't that nice? Unfortunately, the price is not so pleasant, as the world's largest arcade machine will set you back somewhere in the region of $100,000. And before you ask, yes, we've checked. That is definitely the right number of zeros. And number one, the golden Nintendo Wii. Are you looking for a gift that screams, I have far too much money and no idea how to spend it? Well then look no further than the golden Nintendo Wii. Originally sent as a gift to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the golden Wii was commissioned by developer THQ. Far from being an incredibly generous present, however, it actually transpired that this was a marketing stunt for their 2009 title, Big Family Games. Sadly, Buckingham Palace refused to sign for the golden Wii, as you can imagine, you can't just send parcels to the Queen and expect them not to be intercepted. And so the Golden Wii ended up back at THQ headquarters. Once THQ went bankrupt, all of their stock, including the Golden Wii, was bought by Dutch collector Donny Fillerup in 2017, who held on to it until September 2021, where he sold it on eBay for a meagre sum of just $300,000. Despite experts valuing it at $1 million, Donny had been quoted saying that he didn't want to be greedy and simply wanted to sell the console so that he could buy an apartment. If $300,000 is a bit out of your price range, you could always opt for a gold-plated Xbox One instead for the much more reasonable price of just $10,000. Good luck with that credit card in the new year, hey?